Hi, welcome to another episode of Squash Talk. I'm here with Jessica from Wonder Cooks. Thank you, Sean, for inviting me. Oh, it's my pleasure. Here at Squash Talk, we like to talk about squash and nothing else. Oh, it's wonderful. Squash is just amazing. Thank you for joining us at Squash Talk. Bye-bye. We're gonna talk about this squash and all things squash and squashing squash and not squashing squash and how to wash your squash and how to squash a wash today on Wonder Cooks. Yes, we are doing some oh, and of And we're doing that. a recipe, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, so we are using delicata squash today because delicata. today we Say are that. making... Say it with us. Delicata. delicata. So t Sean, tell them what we're making today. Today we're making our super exciting... Oh goodness gracious. Recipe with squash. <laughs> Do I you? do. It's called uh, Moroccan uh -huh. Delicata. <laughs> yes, yeah, so we are making our Moroccan Delicata. So this is Delicata squash. This mm -hmm. beautiful, a little, feels a little hard, right? Yep. Um, it's a long, creamy colored, green striped squash. Kind of stands out amongst the other squash. Now, and it's also related to the other squash, some of them. It's a, it's a winter squash. It's a winter squash. So squash is a generic term that... Um, Two kinds. There, there's tons of fruit that are considered squash. They're all part of the gourd family, but they are categorized into two categories, which is winter and summer. Pretty easy to remember. Yes. So just, just those this two. This is a winter. Um, an example of a summer would be a zucchini. Mm -hmm. Zucchini? No, zucchini. Did you know zucchini is a squash? It is a squash. Whoa! Yeah. Um, that's another squash where you can eat the outside. <laughs> yeah. Um, so this is one of the only kinds of squashes that you can eat the outside. A lot of squashes, it's too hard. You can't eat it, but it's... Um, it, it can be a little, a little tough. Tougher. And it's tough to yes. peel and all that stuff. So that's one of the really cool things about this squash that I love so much. Not only does it taste amazing, but you don't need to take the skin off. The skin actually adds flavor and nutrients to it. So squash, where does it come from? Now there are so many different kinds of squash. They come in all different shapes, sizes, and colors. Uh, and I'll name a few. There's okay. acorn squash, butternut squash, the other kind of squash. Spaghetti squash, pumpkin. Uh, uh, oh, kam kabocha. kabocha, not kombucha. I always get that mixed up. <laughs> Ka that's one of my kabocha. favorite. Kabocha squash. Uh, did um, I say acorn? You did say acorn. Did I say silly squash? N no, it's silly. What? Silly squash. Oh, did I say bohemian squash or sweet potato squash? That's the same as those are other names for this. So you don't have to call it delicata. You can call it sweet potato squash. But I don't know why. The different squashes come from either Mexico, Central America, or South America. And the natives domesticated them for thousands of years uh, and or thousands of years ago. And it's been a long time in the making. Yes. So uh, squash grow on vines and they have these large leaves. Big, big leaves. And it's um, part of a, it's a companion crop. So it's, it's planted, or at least the Native Americans would plant them along with two other crops to help each other. And what'd they call that? The Iroquois tribe called it the Three Sisters. And we're gonna talk more about that in a, in a recipe that we actually do with the three different ingredients being corn, green beans, and squash. But today we're talking about just squash. So the squash's role in that is those big leaves are on the ground and they cover the soil, and so it keeps the soil nice and moist so they don't have to get too much water. <laughs> and that also means that it gets lots of shade, so... Oh, is that your squash dance? Uh, yeah. Show them your squash dance. Do you guys hear the music too? It's in my head, it's going squash, 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 squash. <laughs> Where were we? So, um, because there's not a lot of sun, weeds don't grow, and there's also kind of like little thorns on the on the stems. So the vines on the vines. So uh, pests and little animals don't like to get close to it. They're, so they're, it also they touch you and go, "Ow!" They say, "Ow!" I think that's what we say when we do it too. <laughs> 
And every part of the squash plant is edible. It is. The, the squash, the stem, the leaves, the, the flowers, the squash tendrils. blossoms. You've heard squash blossoms? Well, that was fun. We hope you enjoyed this tidbit from one of our cooking classes. If you want to see more, click on the link or just go to wondercooks.com. You can join our monthly subscription and you'll get to join us live. Live. Live! <laughs> And, and you'll have access to all of our on-demand cooking classes that you can watch anytime. Oh, and you can try it for 30 days free.